We've been cranking out parts on our new little Haas GT10 lathes and they're working great but sometimes we don't use them for maybe like a week or two weeks or something like that and during that time that we're not using it the coolant system starts to grow sludge in it this biofilm of uh, bacteria <laughs> here i've already scraped some off from before but like i mean it's just get, growing like nasty sludge in there it had a whole film had a whole film on top that i, I scraped off and it's just uh, forming again. So the um, this is a kind of a weird coolant tank where it's got it's got a top kind of filter that stuff falls into first, and then it goes into a bottom tank down here. And of course, I can put a bubbler in the bottom tank and have it uh, bubble, and maybe even put an ozonator. But that's not going to get up to this top area here. So I need something for the, the, the top surface where there's just a little bit of coolant that's coming, that's kind of coming in here through these, through these vents, through the screen here. And um, I need something to kill the stuff on top because the bubbler or the ozonator won't reach this up here. Here you can really see the biological sludge that's forming on top and uh, making a whole layer on here. And there's not a lot of, there's not a lot of oil. This stuff likes to eat the oil. Not a whole lot of oil, there's just a little bit of oil. Definitely like a skimming this would help. So my first thought is to use a UV disinfecting lamp. And those are typically UVC for the real hardcore disinfecting lamps that, um, that provide a lot of UV power and can disinfect very quickly. But the problem is UVC is dangerous for your eyes and your skin, like within you know seconds, uh, it can do damage. So UVC is very dangerous. And I did a little bit of research and found, found that like UVA will also be effective against um, bacteria, viruses, and stuff like that. Stuff like probably was living in here, but it has to be uh, for longer term exposure. So if we just leave something on here that's on all the time, then using a UVA lamp, which is uh, much more affordable, more common, and also it's basically just a black light, so it's not quite as dangerous, it's not nearly as dangerous for your eyes. Obviously, you don't want to be exposed to it for a long time directly, but um, it's commonly used for black lights, and so it's uh, safe on the eyes for temporary exposure and also the skin. But it will kill the bugs in here over time of exposure. So what I've done here is I've just taken a very simple setup. I'm using a Rubbermaid lid. I made a bunch of holes in it and to tie zip ties up to it. And here I use an LED UV strip. Now this is a UVA strip, just like about 400 nanometer um, UV and uh, very inexpensive and commonly used for black light purposes. And I attach it on there with zip ties to the lid. This is just a test to see how this works. So I just wanted to make something quickly and see if it actually will kill that stuff in there. So I'm just gonna set this on top here. And if it is effective, I'm gonna make something more permanent and use that on more of my machines. Now you can already see like the stuff is kind of like glowing down in there. So it's absorbing that uh, UV radiation. Definitely the color has changed from no UV to UV. So let's see how well this works. I'm gonna remove all the, 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 the chips and the, the sludge that's already on there. And let's see if this uh, keeps um, more bacteria from building up and biofilm from being created on top. I'll try to see what happens when I just set the UV light on top of this too, to see if it keeps that stuff um, killed and doesn't grow or inhibits it from growing at least. I went ahead and removed the drain pan for this test and put the LEDs above the sump where all the coolant is. And here, as you can see, a th pretty thick biofilm still formed after about a week. Although these LEDs are advertised as being 400 nanometers approximately, it's possible that they aren't and they're more just in the purple range. And also, um, the, I would like to try out 365 nanometers, which I have some but I use them for uh, curing resin and they're very expensive in the LED strip form. I'm gonna experiment some more with other wavelengths of the UV 
But for now, I think I'm going back to the bubbler and ozonator to keep the sump clean 